So in this video we're going to be looking at how to add some film grain to our movie clips, which is pretty simple to do. Let's jump over to the node editor, change this to the scene tab, also check use nodes and backdrop. So we don't need this render layer so we can press X to delete this one. And then if we shift A we can go ahead and add in our movie clip or you can use uh, an image sequence if you want. So let's connect these up as well and load in our movie clip. So I'm using the movie clip from the previous tutorial, the video hologram one. So I'll throw a link up there if you want to go ahead and check that out. And let's just set the end frame for now. Okay, so the problem we have is I used a still image, so it doesn't have any noise or any film grain. So we can see the background, it's pretty um, static, it's not moving at all. So what we can do is we can add some film grain to this um, to tie it in. And you can also use this technique for when you're adding 3D objects. So let's shift A, add in a mix node. So shift A, let's go to input and then down to texture. And we'll plug this in in a minute. And um, let's change it to this tab here, this texture tab. And then we also want to change it to the world settings, the world properties. And then click new. And let's just rename this to film grain. And we also want to check use nodes. So it's pretty much like a node setup. Um, you've got your output and this here, we can just delete this one. And we want to shift A down to uh, texture. And I'm going to give this a noise texture. And right now it's, uh, it's blank, but um, as soon as we plug it in, we can see what it does. It's this kind of noise texture, pretty simple. You can change the colors if you want, but I'm happy with that. So let's jump back over to the scene tab. And then let's plug this in. But as you can see, the top one's a value, which normally the top one's the color. So <laughs> bear in mind which one you do. Also check the alpha box so you can see the transparency. We want to choose the film grain. Okay, so now we just need to change the blend mode and depending on what sort of look you're going for will give you a different result. For example, if we use uh, multiply, it looks kind of grungy and dark. Obviously you want to reduce the factor. But um, the one I usually use is uh, screen because it gives me the best result. So it kind of looks like this snowy, noisy effect. Let's reduce the factor way down. So I mean, you want to reduce it to something really small so it's hardly noticeable. I, again, this is entirely up to you now. So how much green you want it to look, it depends on how much factor you give it. So then you can go ahead and render it out. So set the file format. Also make sure you set your output and then you can go ahead and animate. So it's a very simple way to add some film grain to your movie clips. I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful. So if you did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.